Good afternoon, Cindy Dole here, and this is Home Wizards, your radio home for all things home, garden, and life improvement. This is the place where we talk about the ways to enjoy the spaces you call home, whether it's inside, whether it's outside, whether you've got a small place or a big place, uh, really, where home improvement happens. I think that that's when life improvement happens, so uh, get ready, because we're going to improve your life right now. Coming up on the show, as we inch our way closer to December, in fact, I think I heard my very, very first... (laughs) Have a holly jolly Christmas song just moments ago on the radio. Uh, We are still getting ready for Thanksgiving first, darn it. And uh, and that means, you know, you might be getting ready to do some entertaining. Are you going to be doing the cooking in the house like I am? Although, you know, for me, it's a little different. We're going to Las Vegas for Thanksgiving proper, and then we're going to do our turkey um, the weekend following. But I just always love to do a turkey. And that means you've got to talk to those people that know everything about doing it right and solving problems as the cooking happens, the butterball people. So we're going to get you covered with a lady who has all the answers for the bird uh, from uh, whether you're going to do a brine or are you going to have the typical roasting are you going to do something different how do you do it how do you make sure that it's cooked all the way when do you thought you know all those questions and you can talk to her here on the show today then we're going to get some help uh, on Thanksgiving decor from our friends at HGTV Um, some ways to really cozy up the holiday table how to make it look like it's got some bling or maybe just use things that you find in the yard to, uh, to really create that atmosphere for Uh, many, many memories to come uh, for those that you love that are going to be uh, celebrating the special occasion coming up this week. And then later, how to keep the Grinch from stealing your holiday season. The crime doctor is going to be here to help make sure that the place you call home is protected from thieves who just love uh, to basically get the best of you when the holiday spirit is happening. It seems to go up, crime that is, uh, burglaries uh, during this time of year. We're, we're so busy, we're so distracted, so uh, we're going to find out ways to think like a burglar, to discourage a burglar from breaking in from low-tech Uh, to high tech. That's all coming up on the show today. All right. Now, before we get started, a quick story to share. And this is really more about uh, family entertainment than anything else. You've probably heard about this Peter Pan show they've got going on in Orange County. Oh, my gosh. Got to see it last weekend, and can I tell you, it is such a great thing to do with the family. Um, First of all, it's in this theater in the round. They have these great actors, but the best part is, if you've always dreamed of flying, they have this theater... uh, 3D movie. It's almost like an IMAX image screen that's surrounding you. So as these actors are propelled into the air and are flying, you feel almost like that Back to the Future ride. Like you are flying with them, going up and over the buildings. Oh, there goes the cathedral. Now we're swooping underneath the bridge. And then at one point they go underwater. And then, of course, when they land on Captain Cook's ship, you're right there and you see the water around you. And it's just, it's so amazing. So uh, stay tuned because coming up this week, we're putting together a special on it uh, that I'm hosting. And you'll be hearing it here on KFWB. I'm not sure what day yet, but it's coming up sometime between this uh, week and and Thanksgiving. So uh, check it out. Keep your eye on the website. Listen to the station and you'll find out because I think you're really, you're really going to love it. Now, speaking of websites, I hope that as you're listening, maybe you're out running errands today or you're working in the yard or in the home or or in the kitchen or whatever it is. uh, Remember, as you're listening and you hear something and you wanted to hear it again, not to sweat. You just go back to the website at cindydole.com. It's always there on the site. Uh, There we have uh, in the on-air section the past shows and uh, you can either download them um, to your iPod or you can uh, share them on your Facebook page and you can look at them on uh, YouTube. We have it all covered. Uh, In fact, speaking of uh, videos, we have a new one up on the site there from our our recent broadcast uh, in Pasadena at the uh, Taste of South Lake. So it's kind of fun to see uh, what we do uh, to bring you the fun that we call Home Wizards. So just go to cindydole.com and uh, you can also check out the form uh, so you can get your answers to all the questions uh, throughout the week when we're not on the air. Now, let's first get going to finding your design style. A lot of people will always say, yeah, yeah, I'm not a designer. I can think about hiring one, but how do I just kind of figure out what my what my style is? I've got some tips for you on how to really make sure that you feel good in that home of yours. Wow! I feel good. I do what I want. I feel good. I do what I want. So when you think about that home sweet home of yours and you're looking around, you're saying, mm, 
mm, I wish I could change this or that, but I don't know how to change it or where to begin in terms of the decor and the design itself. How do you know what your style is? We talk about it a lot. We talk about how a great beginning is to maybe go to your closet and see, okay, well, what kind of colors do you gravitate to? Because it's no coincidence that things that you seem to wear a lot, whether it's a certain kind of fabric or a certain kind of a look or color, that that is really your personality and that could be something that you would love to live in in your home. Another way, though, is to think of where you would like to get away from it all. Where do you like to vacation? Do you love the ocean? Do you love the city? Do you love the country? Do you love the desert? And when you choose to spend this vacation, whether it's you always go to Mexico on your holiday, and do you then end up with like a, a full set of cobalt blue wine glasses? Well, that means you might like the hacienda look. Or do you love your vacations at the beach and have jars of seashells in your bathroom? That just might mean that you're kind of a coastal cottage person. And what is your favorite hotel? Well, this is always a secret weapon to finding your style. If you always stay in kind of a cozy country bed and breakfast, or do you like the modern city high-rise hotel, or do you go for more of the traditionally furnished places? All those things are kind of signals to um, how you should be replicating that in your home because that's going to give you your sense of style and make you feel really good. Um, where do you shop? Do you browse the same store all the time, even when you're not looking to buy something? Uh, or does a good flea market kind of turn you on and make you feel like your heart's pounding? Um, some of those things can also help you with uh, your furnishings that's going to speak volumes about your style. Do you love things that are new or do you prefer previously loved and <laughs> found or handed down from the family, which is something that I always surround myself with. I have all these great um, family heirlooms that just bring back all these memories and I just feel cozy with those things in my home. What was your most recent purchase? Now, this is another really good question to ask yourself over the next few days if you're still kind of baffled at uh, what your style is or could be. For instance, did you buy a French country dish towel that you just kind of caught your eye? Or did you buy a, a Tiffany-style lamp that you thought you'd never like, but you do? That last thing that you bought for your home is a really big indicator of what your style is whether you're a guy or you're a gal. So think about that. And what about art? What have you chosen to hang on your walls lately? Or are you voting, affording it all together? I know sometimes it's a commitment. But it says something about you. It's purely personal. It's not tied to anything that you really need or really a function, unless it's covering something up you don't want to see. Um, but let's say you recently got this vintage movie poster. It means that you like classic lines in furniture. Or maybe you got um, this abstract lithograph. It probably means that you're a modern kind of a gal or a guy. Or if a flea market oil painting uh, of someone else's relative, then you're probably kind of an eclectic person. And here's another little trigger. What kind of unites all of your stuff look around you today. What is it? Do you have, you know, certain kind of colors all around you? Are there terracottas and rusts and, and warm yellows or cool colors or things like that, whether it's a table or vases or lamps? Do all of your furnishings have sharp lines or you don't have a single thing on your mantle? Whether it's color or scale or shape or even the era, all those things that kind of unite everything as the glue in the home, that's the best place really to, to start looking uh, for your style. And then there's always the odd man out theory. When there is one piece that's different from everything else in your room, take note because guess what? Chances are that is the one style that you like, but you're afraid to fully venture into Go for it. Now, the best room in the house, one more thing. What is your most favorite place to hang out in? Look to that as that really is you and try to repeat it. There's nothing wrong with having all of the rooms designed in the same way. In fact, it can bring that sense of calm and that sense of serene feel to your house. And, and do you have multiple things of the same color or shape? That's also, also a big sign, a telltale sign that those are the indicators of who you are. So take note of that and go for it. Hopefully those things will help you uh, discover who you are and, and just surround yourself with those things. All right. Well, coming up next, it is that time. Thanksgiving. Giving. Are you ready for it? Are you going to be the host with the most or the hostess with the mostest? Well, we've got our friends from Butterball to help us with all those turkey questions so that you do not have a disaster and that you look like a complete genius. You can call in at 888-KFWB980. Cindy Dole, and this is Home Wizards, back in a bit.